Ooh, do you think that uh, Marcos is going to continue to maybe make some questionable decisions like maybe the bat maybe, signal maybe because of his breathing? Or? Matt, am I going to keep making questionable choices as Marcos? He wasn't thinking straight with that bat signal, was he? Yeah, he's not the most erratic guy. Uh, no, I think, uh, yeah, I, he's... Some characters are based more in pragmatism than others. I think some people are more logical and some actually are less hard done by. I think Eclipse is a passionate person and actually has so many awful things happen to him that he's probably quite dictated by passion more so than anything else. Um, he's trying to keep it together uh, and it wasn't the smartest of choices to do that thing, but, but actually it made Lorna aware that he was there and uh, you'll see the repercussions of what he did soon. Uh, and he'll learn from it, but people make mistakes, and actually he's hes not only human, he's not superhuman, he can't control it all the time, he's not hes not aware of his mother, of the mother of his child being alive, he doesn't know if his baby's alive, he wasn't there for the birth, he didn't get a choice in naming it, he's been left behind, uh, and, and that's something that I can't imagine any man going through without losing his mind a little bit, especially someone that cares and loves as much as he does and feels as strong as he does. So, there might be a few times where he gets a bit erratic, but actually, I think people will be on his side about it. I, th I, 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 vouch, I vouch for him as a person, uh, and, I, and, uh, and the things that Lorna has done to him are just disgraceful. So, so uh, there's a lot of fun to be had. Oh. So speaking of the baby, yes, um, Eclipse seems to um, struggle a lot with like his morality, um, although not as much as like, some of the other characters. So, um, are we going to see that? Are we going to see like, his boundaries push even more this season? Because of his background, did you say? His, his boundaries. Yeah, his boundaries, yeah, he's, I mean, yeah, if he doesn't push the boundaries already, he, uh, he, um, he is going to be dealing with that a lot, and actually, I'm sorry, I've completely blanked. You are going to see him dealing with his boundaries a lot more. What you're going to witness is, what you're going to witness is him, he's not faltering in his ethical beliefs that two wrongs don't make a right. You shouldn't be as extremist and proactive and, and actually uh, abrasive as the inner circle is. He doesn't agree with them whatsoever. And that, I guess, is the difference between him and Polaris, is that ideological issue of like, do two wrongs make a right? Do you take back what's right for the yours? Do you, that's not, he doesn't agree with that. He's not, he considers that to be actually short-sighted, a bit narrow-minded. It's not pragmatic. It's not a pragmatic approach. Bombing people, murdering people, destroying banks, or whatever it is that you end up doing, Yes, that might be you somehow getting your own back, but tit for tats only end up in upscaling the problem. They only make them larger. They, you know, Eclipse, I think, is pretty angry at Polaris for basically setting the world on fire and then worried that people might get burned. And you go, like, well, didn't we, we could have discussed this before you lit the match. Uh, and so he is going to deal with those boundaries, not because of his ethical problem, but because the love that he has for the people that he cares about the most on the opposite side of that ethical battle. So does he sacrifice those ethics for the things that he loves? Or does he torture himself, maintain his ethics, and lose all the things that he cares about? And that's the boundary push that you push for you against the thing you can see. So we, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so, would you classify the uh, polarity relationship and your relationship as, say, like, in the family? There have been those comparisons. I have my legs, so I guess there's I can walk. There's there's some differences to the two. Um, no, ideologically, yes, they could. Oh. Saved. Um, uh, there is, there are some comparisons, yeah, and I would say that there are. You'd have to ask Matt, uh, my boss back there. But um, no, I guess th if you are to look at their ideologies, it starts to make sense. Obviously, she has her father and has a similar mentality to him. And I think Eclipse is trying to uh, has followed along the similar paths that Xavier did. Um, and actually, that Martin Luther and uh, the Martin Luther and Malcolm did, which is what they were based on. So. Um, you could say that. I wouldn't be as I wouldn't go as far as saying that myself. I'd be privileged to have that be a comparison, but I would. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Sorry, this one day.